Hey Feed Feed friends, it's Phoebe Lapine here, the author of the new book, The Wellness Project, and the blog, Feed Me Phoebe. And today I'm gonna to show you a delicious yet nutritious spin on key lime pie. If you're familiar with my recipes, you know that I'm all about healthy hedonism, which is what this recipe is also all about. We've got an avocado mousse and a really easy almond flour-based crust. It's low sugar and delicious. We're gonna get the crust going in a mini food processor and first blitz the almond meal and the salt because as you can see, the almond meal tends to be a little bit clumpy and this will help get it fully incorporated. Next, the melted coconut oil and the egg. You can see it came together really nicely in the food processor and now we can press it into our greased parchment lined pans. And it kind of looks a little bit like marzipan since it's just almond flour. This recipe makes enough for one nine inch fluted tart pan or three smaller ones, but I only own two, so we're gonna have a little leftover. And don't worry if there are some imperfections on the inside, we're gonna cover all of that up with our filling later. Next, we're gonna add the coconut oil, which at room temperature is usually solid, but it's really hot in my apartment right now, so I didn't even have to melt it. Um, and I wanna to talk to you a little, so you can see the solid parts there. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about coconut oil. There's been some controversy in the health community as to whether or not coconut oil is actually good for you. Um, I like it personally for balancing my hormones, but more importantly, and for today's purposes, it's really useful for making desserts. Because, as I mentioned, the coconut oil gets solid at room temperature when it's colder out or at cool temperatures, we're going to pop this mousse into the fridge and it's going to firm up into that really luscious, thick, creamy texture. Last, we're going to zest these limes, which are going to maximize that super limey key lime taste without watering down the mixture too much. So we want to get the zest off of both of these bad boys. I joke, but quality control is important because you can add more maple syrup or more lime at this point if you want it to be sweeter or zestier. And then you just spoon it into the cooled tart shells and spread it out. I like to kind of overfill it a bit. You can transfer it to a plate from the shell before you add it to the fridge, which is a little bit easier before the coconut oil has a chance to solidify again. But it is totally up to you, especially if you're taking it to a Labor Day party. And at long last, it's time to garnish this sucker. So we refrigerated it for at least an hour. You can do it overnight, which is great, especially if you're entertaining, a nice make-ahead dessert. And then you just wanna give it a dollop. You just want to garnish with some whip and a tweel of lime. And I'm using actually coconut yogurt today, but for healthy alternatives, you can do coconut whip or even sky yogurt. There you have it. Really easy, simple, nutritious, delicious key lime tart recipe with avocado mousse and an almond crust just in time for the last weekend of summer. Enjoy.